Land continues to be a topical and thorny issue in the country. And the Land Reform Advisory Commission acts as an essential link between the office of the minister and the society, says Schlettwein. The 13-member commission, he says, keeps the minister informed on the expectations and aspirations of the people on land reform. Schlettwein says the issue of redressing past imbalances in land ownership can only be realized through hard and collective work, a shared vision and dedication by people who recognize the land reform process is a necessary step in responding to the socio-economic and political injustices that were inherent within our past colonial society. I would urge you to continue with this tradition and frankly report to me what you hear from the communities in which you work, what you think about the success of the implementation of our land and resettlement program, what you think we need to do better, what you think is in need of redressing. The new and reappointed commissioners were reminded of their roles, among them to make recommendations to the minister in relation to land reform and resettlement. How can we better deliver land reform? How can we better mitigate injustices that we still suffer from? And how can we do that in an accountable, transparent fashion so that we can account for our actions? We must have we must have good answers, solid answers, if we are asked, why have I not been resettled? The ministry has organized a three-day induction workshop for the commissioners to be followed by the commission's first ordinary meeting, which will be convened on Thursday. Emil Sebeb, NBC News, Ventuk.